Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how to download your menu and run it. So first off you're gonna go to the Discord link in bio and you're gonna the in menu v2 download uh channel. Once you're here you're gonna click the first link right here and hit visit site. Once you're here you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see something called Yemeni V2 DLL. You don't need any of these things, just go here, hit download, or just tap it I mean, and it's gonna go over here. This is an unverified download blog. Just hit download verified file, and there you go. After that, go back to the Discord. You're gonna need Xenos. This is the loader. This is how you inject in your menu into GTA. You're gonna go into here and you're gonna visit site. All right, once you're here, make sure you're logged in and everything. It's gonna be right here, and this is the download. Hit that. It's gonna pop up here. If it says dangerous download blocked, just go right here. Go to downloads. And then it's gonna say right here, go here, and then download dangerous file. Okay, once you have that, you guys close this out, and you're gonna go to the wallpaper on your back, your background or whatever. You're gonna hit hit new and folder. Once you have folder, just name it GTA. You can name it whatever, whatever you would remember. You're gonna go to your files, downloads, and you're gonna move what you just downloaded into here. So I wanna move the menu. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that and your menu. Your menu twice. I'm gonna delete this one, but here we go. Now, very important part before you run any of that, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go to Steam, go to the account, and make sure you're on GTA Enhanced. You're gonna go right here, Manage, Properties, and then type in right here, dash no battle I. That's all you need to type. That disables the battle eye if you're on Steam. If you are on Rockstar, go here, open up Rockstar. You'll know which one you're on whenever you um bought one. So I'm gonna go sign in real quick. But basically, no, I'm not gonna sign in, but you sign in, you're gonna go to the settings and you're just gonna see disable Rockstar. It's gonna be this tick mark. And you're just gonna make sure it's not ticked or whatever. Okay. Now we're gonna open up this folder and we're gonna go right here, extract it, just extract it, and then you're gonna see two ones. You're gonna see two of them. Now here's where it's very important. You're gonna have to go to virus and threat protection. Otherwise, if you don't do this, it'll delete it. And so make sure it's off. So you go to your firewall. I don't I don't really care about firewall. I think it's just virus and threat protection. That's all you need off close it if you don't have that off it'll delete this and you won't be able to run it so you're gonna go to Xenos you're gonna double click it it's gonna say malicious file just hit more info and run anyway and then it's gonna open this up this little white box you can close that out and you can go back to this you're gonna see your menu right here and you're gonna just take it and drag it into this box right here you can close this out now now you're gonna go to Steam or Rockstar and you're just gonna load up GTA with Battle Eye off. So make sure you have Battle Eye off. And we're not gonna make any cuts or anything, so here we go. this part really and you're just gonna wait till you get to the main menu where you can choose what you're saying so like what you're gonna go into you're gonna load this up and so you're gonna go right here make sure all these things are the same exist thing you're gonna process and you're gonna go search for a process called GTA 5 it could say legacy or enhanced.exe you're just gonna click it and then you wait till here and once you're here you just hit inject this thing's gonna pop up. Do not close it out, you're just gonna minimize it. Okay, your menu is successfully loaded, you can minimize this too. You're gonna go to story mode and grant the thought of your story mode. Now here's the point where you could hit insert and the yin menu pops up. So as you can see, look at the yin menu, this has everything from self, all that good stuff, everything. I am 
bot, output editor. Here you got the recovery tab and everything. But right here we're going to go to network and you're going to make sure this is set to invite only and you're just going to hit join. Now, if we didn't have if we had a battle eye on, it wouldn't let us go into online. And this sort of bypasses it, but only lets you play online like by yourself. So that's something that you need to know with these free mod menus. Um, let's see if I spawn in. Yeah, there you go. So now we're in. Don't mind my uh, outfit or whatever, but hit insert. And uh, you got the outrider as you can see. It works. Everything works. Uh, you get a recovery. You get a heist. And uh, this is all this stuff. Diamond Casino, you can set it up with uh, what? You go to KO, set it up with Panther, set the takes and everything. You can do the heist and everything, but yeah, something that I, if I were you, I'd stay away from is the businesses. Or you can you can do this, you can claim your earnings, but the stat editor is something I would stay away from. Uh, transactions, stay away from this if you don't know what you're doing. I would stay away from this. What else do we have here? Let me just... Daily activities. You can just set all activities faded. Um, next up, vehicle vehicle editors. You can spawn any vehicle in. Mod it, whatever. So like if I want to spawn in like an APC or whatever. Let's see, I want to put like F1 tires on it. I just can go to vehicle editor. This is going to be basically like a vehicle prize. But yeah. Ava. That's what you guys need to know for uh, using your menu. Like and subscribe and uh, make sure you join the Discord server. And I will be posting updates to the CM menu in there. So, uh, yeah.